Good day. I am Lance Kent Briones and my colleagues are Lorenzo Lazam and Diane Fabiano. We are third year BS Computer Science students from the Ateneo University. And we are here to present a system, a smart assessor system for the back squat. Okay, so first, what is the back squat? The back squat is a type of squat because the squat is an umbrella term for all the existing variations of squat. And the back squat is the type of squat where the bar is placed either on the upper traps area, the high bar squats, or around the rear deltoids area, which is the low bar squat. It is the kind of squat that we usually see performed by people in the gym, wherein they place a bar with tons of weights in it and do a squat. Now, the back squat has a relatively steep learning curve, so it is very hard to execute most, especially for new lifters and even for advanced lifters, actually. And, and it is done usually as a main compound exercise by athletes. It is good for the lower body development. For the injuries, I'll give, I'm giving the floor to Diane. Regardless of the squat variation, common injuries occur around the lower back and the knees. The efficiency of performing an exercise will depend on the posture of an athlete. Otherwise, it may produce injuries. The common injuries of the back squat are lower back pain, which is commonly complained by beginners who tend to have an extensive pain. Neck pain because of the wrong placement of the barbell, shoulder pain, and etc. So for the next, and so, how computer vision may help assess the box squat? First, we'll tackle what computer vision is. It is an interdisciplinary scientific field that deals with how computers can gain high-level understanding from digital images or videos. Common CV techniques are object detection and motion detection. CV techniques are already prominently being used like in Tesla self-driving cars or surveillance cameras. These techniques may be incorporated to detect bodily key points like joints and rigid body segments. Once detected, the body's motion can be assessed based on the displacement of such parameters. In the next slide, we can see our model, Lens Briones, showing the correct form of, of how to box squat. In the system overview, these are the vital properties of the system. Key point joint detecting models such as open poles, convolutional neural network classifiers. The CNN classifiers will be trained under KNN algorithms and it will be taught how to use geometric heuristics for a better assessment of the body. And the DTW algorithm, which is an algorithm for measuring similarity between two temporal sequences, which may vary in, in speed, it normalizes the repetitions. And lastly, system evaluation, which will be the output. Now I will give the floor to the young. To train the model, we gathered a data set of videos from certified professionals from kinesiology or sports science performing the squat. They will be performing the incorrect and correct form of the squat. We will include the videos recorded from other angles. However, we recommend it to be filmed from the site for better accuracy. And for the next slide. Using the Open Post Library. Open Post Library is a library created by Zekao and et al. It is an open source library provided for an accessible and fast joint detection algorithm. Open Post library contains pre-trained models that detect key points necessary for executing common or general exercises. Since the system focuses on, on the squad, these pre-trained models will be slightly modified to only detect key points necessary for the squad, like removing the key points on the face since the focus will be, on, will be more on the body and not the face. This modification will speed up the computational processes of the pre-trained models. Okay, Lance will give you the next. For the dynamic time wrapping algorithm. So the time it takes for each repetition to be completed differs from repetition to repetition and from subject to subject. Namely speaking, how does this reflect to our work? So each repetition, usually it differs uh, from, from rep to rep, in a set, each repetition, the time it takes for each repetition to be completed usually differs from each repetition to another. So say, for example, 
the first repetition in the first the first repetition of the set may take one second but the second repetition may take one and a half seconds and the third repetition may take two seconds and this normally happens from a set and of course from subject to subject it will happen it will definitely happen so we can we can say that each repetition is uh, distinct in terms of the time so in our system one re in a in our system that say for example takes 30 fps videos one second may one repetition may take 30 frames while one and a half second may take 45 frames and two seconds the rest may take two seconds which is like 60 frames so now we see a problem here dtw algorithms essentially they normalizes each each repetition essentially negating the time it took for each rep to happen and only focus on the actual rep itself so it it converts each repetition in a specific number of frames in that case for the convolutional neural networks the cnn will be trained using knn algorithms k nearest neighbor algorithms and based from our uh, related literature we are expecting accuracy figures near 100 percent usually it, it goes from 95 96 to 100 percent in some cases so the uh, input layer of the cnn will take the subject videos as input so each artificial neuron will take either it will be parsed by each by the program and each uh, each neuron will take a section of it or each neuron may take the video itself and for the output layer there will be three fixed but yet very distinct artificial neurons that contain the output layer so neuron number one will output a video with their corresponding key point so it is a video where the uh, necessary key points detected by the open post library is already there so the key points for the shoulders will be located at the shoulders the key points for the hips will be located for the hip and the key points for the uh, ankles and the knees will be located in the knee area the second neuron neuron number two will output a list containing python dictionaries where the key is a string of the timestamp where the cnn evaluated the movement as wrong and the value is a 3d matrix of that particular timestamp so looking at this example we see a python list wherein it contains python dictionaries and the keys of this say for example the index zero of this list contains a dictionary wherein the key each key is unique, by the way. The key is a timestamp string, wherein the value is a 30 by 30 matrix. It's a three-dimensional matrix with length 30 and height 30 and an RGB image of 255. And the second uh, index number one here is one minute 45 seconds with you know a different a different value for the uh, three-dimensional array. So all the elements of this list is a unique value that corresponds to the particular timestamp of that the CNN evaluated the posture as wrong. And for neural number three, it simply outputs the accuracy of the CNN. And for the geometric heuristics, this part calculates the geometry behind the exercises. It calculates the technicalities of the exercises in a geometric point of view. So say, for example, for the lower body, imagine the hips, the knees, and the ankles create this angle. So when a person is standing, they make a 90 degrees angle. And whenever a person squats, the angle gets smaller. And for a squat to be considered as a correct form, at the lowest peak of the squat, there must be an angle of at most 90 degrees or lower so whenever the lowest point of the squat generates an angle more than 90 degrees considered as wrong and it will be reflected to the neuron number two of the output layer and for the system evaluation diane for the system evaluation the results of the output of each artificial neuron of the output layer are gathered once gathered they will be compiled and presented to be the to be used on the web page the web page contains the following the video of performing the exercise with the detected key points necessary for the squat, with a list of timestamps of frames in which the posture is incorrect. This is filtered by CNN by searching for a specific exhibited feature on the video. The output of the CNN, referred to as a feature map, increases the accuracy of the move. That's it for the presentation.